Hi, welcome back. Uh, it must be Tuesday. Um, what is that thing? Uh, we've been having fun with this all over town. This is a London cab. This is a 2005 London cab. 12 years old and it's got about 37, 36,000 miles on it. It's fun to drive. It's got a turning circle of about 25 feet. So any street you're going down, you can just do a U-turn and go back the other way. It's really fun. It's got a little four cylinder, 2.4 liter diesel. It's automatic. Uh, you will never, I promise you will never get a speeding ticket in this car unless you're going through a 15 mile an hour zone at 25. It'll, it'll, it'll go highway speeds. It'll go 65, 70, but that's about where you're comfortable with it. Uh, if, if you were in London, it starts with, it was a hackney carriage. Okay, and they refer to it as, well, they call it a cab, and they call it a black cab, or they call it a hack. Uh, over here, us Yanks, we call it a London taxi. That's how we knew it. The history of Hackney goes back to the 1600s in England when it was horse-drawn. And uh, they just kept that name all the way through, right up into this century. Uh, so they've, they've got a great history. They've had some of the greatest characters in the world that have driven London cabs. I think the oldest cab driver ever in London, he was 92 years old when he retired. I don't know if I'd want to get in a cab with him, but maybe, who knows? Anyway, it goes back to the 1600s when they were horse-drawn. And now up in modern days, if you fly into uh, Heathrow Airport and you grab a London cab and you want to go back into London, it'll cost you about 70 pounds. That, and that would be about $95 US. So that's a significant. Uh, hack drivers in London make a lot of money. The only time I've ridden in one that was commercial was in Brussels, Belgium back in the 60s. I, I rode in one and it, and it was, that was exciting. So the London cab and these new ones, this is an LT1. Uh, these newer London cabs have a lot of great accessories. Of course they have air conditioning. They've got seating for about five or six people in back. Uh, the luggage goes up front. Uh, this one has a, uh, what do you call it? A ramp door. So you can load wheelchairs into it. So that's something accessible. I don't know the proper words. Uh, it's really handy it's, and it's fun and it gets fantastic mileage. In, in the 70s, they, one manufacturer made them in black and black only. Nobody wanted to pay for an extra paint job. And so black remained the color for 30 years. Now you can get a, a London cab in any color you want. Well, here's a, a surprise. Uh, the London Cab Company is owned by Geely Corporation. There's another name in front of that. Geely Corporation is a Chinese corporation. So actually the Chinese are making the London cabs, but they make them in England, so it's okay. They're a lot of fun. If, uh, if I wanted to be an Uber driver today, okay, and I wanted a handicap accessible vehicle that got great mileage and people would always pay attention to, I would be clamoring after this thing. This is the perfect car for an Uber. I don't, you know, you have to get everything approved, but from what I've read, this would be approved in a heartbeat. So this is a 2005 LT1 London cab automatic. Uh, it's still for sale. By the way, just, I still want you to go like us on that button and subscribe to us. But if you got a question for me, uh, it's Tuesday at BransonAuction.com. Tuesday at BransonAuction.com. So if you got questions, send them there. Uh, I've been getting questions from everywhere, but that'll be the easiest, and then I can go directly to those. Uh, that's it. That's my little London cab story. They are a lot of fun. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye now.